My pleasure. In North Ellie, have been warned time and time again that terrorists will continue to strike us here at home, repeatedly. And now this suspect, interviewed by the FBI, investigated twice, but not enough evidence to arrest him. So what steps should the government take to keep us safe? Ambassador James Wilsey joins us. He's former director of the CIA and chairman of the Foundation for the Defense of the Democracies. Ambassador um, Omar Martin, I mean, I think he vividly demonstrates the overwhelming challenges that we face. Radar. He's interviewed for supposed radical comments, another investigation for a possible connection to a suicide bomber. Not under investigation now, not under surveillance, yet he still carried this out. What could have been done? What do we do to prevent the next one? I think one thing that needs to be done is the, the gay and lesbian community needs to realize that they have no better friend than the average heterosexual American who is law-abiding and might not like the Supreme Court decision on single-sex marriage but is willing to observe it. Uh, those are their friends. The enemies are the Islamist terrorists. The, uh, the jihadis hate gay people of all kinds, loathe them, think they should die as soon as possible. That's why they attacked a gay and lesbian bar. And uh, somehow we have to get across uh, the idea that uh, uh, this is a different kind of threat than we faced before, but as, uh, the Islamists are at least as ideological uh, as the Nazis. Uh, a somewhat different ideology, but they are effectively their own kind of Nazi. At least as ideological as the Nazis. Uh, you hit it right on the head uh, with that. I mean, look. As we know, ISIS throws homosexuals off the roofs uh, of buildings. Uh, in fact, an imam, this is unbelievable, local television station Orlando reporting that two months ago an imam who says that uh, under Sharia Islamic law it's acceptable to kill homosexuals, th this sure. guy speaks in Sanford, Florida, just you know, right near Orlando. And kill your daughter if she walks uh, with the boy next door down to the corner to get a, an ice cream cone. Uh, there are lots of things in Sharia that are uh, really, to uh, most of us, uh, quite appalling. So how do we face this, and how do we prevent this, uh, or is, is it even possible when you've got this insidious strain continuing and in some quarters only growing in our country, when we're told that about 400 Americans went to Syria and maybe at least 25 or more have returned, let alone the sympathizers uh, and the believers who are, you know, on the Internet uh, looking at this stuff? The key people in this are the real moderate Muslims. I don't mean just Muslims that don't like violence but still want to take over uh, the government. I mean real moderate Muslims like Zudi Jasser and, uh, and others. Uh, uh, people like, well, the most amazing one I knew was the late Abdul Rahman Wahid, the former president of Indonesia. I knew him only slightly, but he was an amazing man. He, after he was president, he formed a group called Lib for All, Religious Liberty for All. And he would travel around Indonesia renting soccer stadiums stadiums and putting on concerts with Indonesia's leading young rock star and then teach the kids words to him, songs that they were writing about religious liberty. Then he'd go on and pay for it himself and do it the next night at, the, uh, at another uh, football stadium in Indonesia. There are Muslims like this and we need to work with them and, and, and be their friend and they, they need friends. And finally, uh, you would like to see this happen here because there's got to be a voice within the community to speak out against this power. It's tough here because of the traditions and culture and history, reasons we don't have time to go into right now, but it, it, it has to be done. Uh, we really, really have to help, uh, when they ask for it, uh, the real moderate Muslims and do everything we can to uh, uh, help them prevail. Yeah, absolutely. Ambassador James Wilsley, thank you uh, for your insight and comments on, on what is such a uh, horrific situation after this carnage we witnessed last night. Thank you.